Enzymes are biological catalysts which help speed up chemical reactions without getting consumed in the reaction itself. They break down, build up, or convert substrates into new products. Some enzymes present in living organisms include amylase, protease, lipase, and catalase. When it comes to industry, the uses and roles of enzymes vary widely. Some processes aided by enzyme include tanning leather, extracting juice from fruits, making cheese, baking bread, brewing and distilling beer, and much more. The processes are sped up since enzymes are catalysts of chemical reactions. They won't usually require very high temperatures to operate. This saves fuel. Enzymes help in the germination of seeds. These enzymes become active when more water is present in the seeds. Different enzymes create different products which help the seeds grow and store energy. Amylase breaks down starch into maltose, which provides energy for growth and construction of cell walls. Protease breaks down proteins into amino acids, which make protein for the construction of new cells. Lipase breaks down oils into fatty acids and glycerol to provide energy for the growing plant. Beer is an alcoholic beverage which needs enzymes in its production. Barley seeds are harvested and then allowed to germinate in warm, moist conditions. The amylase enzymes in the barley seeds activate in such conditions, then convert the stored starch in the seeds into a sugar, maltose. Maltose is used by the yeast in fermentation to produce alcohol in beer. Maltose is used by the yeast in fermentation to produce alcohol in beer. A different process is used to harvest oils from certain plants, such as sunflowers or olives. Oils are stored in the plant seeds for energy, and lipase is present, which would break down these oils into a different product when it is time for the seed to germinate. Thus, sunflower or olive seeds should not be made to germinate if their oils are to be extracted. Pectinase is used to speed up the extraction of juice from fruits. Pectinase is an enzyme which breaks down pectin and plant cell walls, which are molecules that hold plant cell walls together. Pectin is sold commercially as a light brown powder from citrus fruits. This can then be used to make jams and juice. In industrial terms, Fermentation is any process that uses microorganisms to produce a beneficial product or facilitate a useful process. Large stainless steel tanks called industrial fermenters, such as those used for the production of beer, cheese, and antibiotics, provide and maintain conditions fit for the growth and metabolism of microorganisms like bacteria and fungi, which serve as the sources of enzymes. These microorganisms produce enzymes outside of cells to break down substrates such as complex carbohydrates, proteins, and fats, and then digest them. Penicillin is an antibiotic which uses fermentation in order to be produced. It comes from the fungus penicillium. A scientist named Alexander Fleming discovered its use as an antibiotic in 1928 when he noticed, by accident, that the fungus was growing on his agar plates, killing off the bacteria around it. Today, penicillin is made in large quantities using industrial fermentation. The fungus penicillium is put in industrial fermenters. Nutrients such as sugars and ammonium salts are placed in the fermentation vessels along with the fungus. The fungus uses these nutrients to make proteins and nucleic acids. Biological washing powders undergo a similar fermentation process as the production of penicillin. The enzymes released by microorganisms, such as Bacillus bacteria and Aspergillus fungi, are collected from the fermenter through extraction, then used for biological powders and sold commercially to clean clothing. 
Enzymes break down substrates found in typical stains. Protease breaks down proteins found in blood, grass, and egg. Lipase breaks down fat found in grease stains such as in butter, lipstick, and mayonnaise. Amylase breaks down starch found in food stains. And cellulase breaks down cellulose fibers and cotton textiles to remove attached dirt. In addition, the enzymes in biological powders are modified to let people wash their clothes in low wash temperatures and in alkaline conditions. Newer innovations allow clothes to be washed in temperatures as low as 15 degrees Celsius. These lower temperatures require less energy to operate washing machines. Also, the enzymes and their byproducts do not harm the environment or living organisms, unlike other detergents. These are just a few pros in the long list of advantages that enzymes bring to humans.